Hello everyone. Um, today I am going to talk about uh, how to find suspicious statistics if your probability distribution function or if your PDF is a member of an exponential family. So in order to uh, do this method, first you need to know what is an exponential family. So a particular PDF that means a particular probability density function or probability mass function will belongs to an exponential family if your PDF can be represented in this form that is uh, h of x times c of theta and you have this exponential term exponential you have a summation of w i theta and a t i x so you can see this h of x is a function of x and c theta is a function of theta and this w i theta also a function of theta and t i x is a function of x and if this is the case then you can write a t of x which is summation of t 1 x j up to summation of a t k x j so this t x will be a sufficient statistic for theta so you can generalize this method and you can say that if your pdf is like this that means your pdf belongs to exponential family then this tx will also a complete sufficient statistic that means if f of, the, f of x theta is an belongs to exponential family then tx like tx means you have this statistic will belongs to uh, will also a complete sufficient statistic uh, the one main restriction is uh, here your theta should be uh, I mean the parameter space of your theta should be an open set in real life okay in uh, if it is k dimensional then it should be an open set in rk okay so in order to um, um, understand this uh, we will do a couple of examples so let's say you have a variable uh, which is a normal distributed with mean theta and variance of 1. So, you know uh, if uh, your x is normal distributed, uh, normal distributed with uh, mean theta and variance 1, then you can write your probability density function or your PDF in this form that is 1 over square root of 2 pi times a to the power x minus theta squared over 2 okay so now in order to tell or in order to identify what is the sufficient statistic now you have to write this a pdf in the form of this you need to write this pdf in the form of this so in order to do that you have to rearrange some coefficients so first you need to expand the square so then you will get uh, e to the power negative times x squared plus theta squared times uh, negative 2 times x theta over 2. So now you can simplify this expression and get a 1 over square root of 2 theta times e to the power negative x squared over 2 uh, plus uh, x theta minus uh, theta squared over 2. So this all three terms are in an exponential terms okay so now you can uh, rearrange this uh, coefficients so now you can write this uh, 1 over 2 pi and e to the power negative uh, x squared over 2 together and you can write uh, e to the power negative theta squared over 2 separately and this is uh, <coughs> and also you can separate e to the power x theta so now you can see this first term is a function of x only so it is our h of x and this e to the power uh, negative theta e to the power negative theta squared over 2 is a function of theta so it is like our c theta and this is you can see this x theta is an exponential term and this x is like your uh, t i x and this theta is like your w i theta. So now you can see this expression is in the form of an exponential family. So because of that you can say this 
uh, t. So, based on this definition, you can say that uh, summation of x i is a sufficient statistics, also it is a complete sufficient statistic for theta, because this p d f follows an exponential family. Okay? So, let us uh, consider another example. <coughs> now, you can see uh, you are a probability density function is in this form, it is theta divided by 1 over x to the power of 1 plus theta. So, now in order to find the complete sufficient statistic or sufficient statistic, uh, uh, first you need to write this in the form of an exponential family. So, you can rewrite this formula like this theta times and you can bring this exponent term to the numerator like by writing it like this 1 plus x to the power negative 1 plus theta and after that you can do a trick because as you can remember in this exponential family uh, you should have an exponential term okay but in um, this pdf you don't have any exponential terms so you can create an exponential term uh, using this uh, 1 plus x to the power uh, negative 1 plus theta by writing it like this e to the power negative uh, 1 plus theta times ln um, 1 plus x because you know you, you can write x squared as what e to the power ln x squared which is equivalent to e to the power um, 2 times ln x because if you have a power in a logarithmic term, you can uh, bring that power in front of the logarithmic term. Okay? So, now if you rearrange this uh, formula, you can write it as theta times uh, since the uh, domain of this x is only uh, positive values. I should have written that because the domain of this uh, x should be from 0 to infinity which is defined in our pdf. So, in that case you can write an indicator function like this which only belongs uh, which only corresponding to x where x is belongs to 0 to infinity and you can write uh, this function this term uh, e to the power negative 1 plus theta times uh, ln 1 plus x. So, this is like our uh, w 1 theta times t 1 x and this theta is like our c theta and since this indicator function only belongs only depends on x. So, it is like our h x. So, now you can see this pdf we can rearrange uh, as an exponential family. So, because of that you can say that t which is equal to summation of uh, this uh, ln 1 plus x is a complete sufficient statistic or a sufficient statistic for theta. Okay? So, that is it for today and I will uh, talk about more about this sufficient statistics and minimum sufficient statistics in my next video. Thank you.